who are collectively flexing their girl power and making room for themselves at Gospel Music's male-dominated welcome table. Though young in age, La Antra is a seasoned veteran who's experienced her share of heartache and pain but has sang her way through the tears. La Antra's life has been a roller coaster of highs and even more highs over the last year. She bankrolled her own three-song EP, put it up on iTunes and watched us cyber buzz heat up around her soulful vocals and contemporary sound. Then one of the songs from it, I'm in love with a man, a love song to God was featured in the motion picture Inequity. The North Carolina native's been singing since the age of two when she discovered the song Joyful Joyful from the movie Sister Act 2. The Flint Cavaliers stellar and soul train award nominees from Flint, Michigan a quartet town. This group demonstrates their faithfulness to the traditional style that that's brought them through, whether delivering a drive tempo song, slow burners, or selections that evoke the 70s sweet soul, the group stays grounded in the practical wisdom of the old church. The Brown Boys began as the Brown Boys Gospel Singers, a group formed during the 1980s in their native town of Freeport, a village just south of Long Island. The group, including siblings Curtis, Dennis, and Willie Brown, along with their cousin Joe Williams, changed their name during the late 90s to reflect their contemporary sound, though they continue to draw from traditional gospel, soul, and funk. They issued albums such as Jump for Joy in 2005, Harvest Time in 2009, The Evolution in 2012, and even though they release their work on independent labels, most frequently on Black Smoke, the group has hit Billboard's gospel albums and singles charts numerous times. One of their most popular songs, It's Alright and Better Days. Here's your Billboard Top 10 Singles in the Country. Number 10, Brian Poppin with I Got Out. Number 9, Ty Tribbett, Work It Out. Number 8, Troy Sneed, Kept by His Grace. Number 7, Charles Jenkins, featuring Leandria with Grace. Number 6, William Murphy, Everlasting God. Number 5, Travis Green, You Waited. Number 4, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, Trust in You. Number 3, Kirk Franklin, My World Needs You. Number 2, Dietrich Haddon and the Hill City Worship Camp with a billion people. And number one, once again from Tamala Mann with Change Me. Well, that's your Billboard Top 10 songs and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Remember, you can write me at the gospel news at the gospel news with Nina at gmail.com. Until You're next time, to UGA let's get gospel back to Star. more great gospel Midnight music Love Garden with on Ms. this Coco great station.
All right, y'all, that is singing Gabby right there all the way from Greenville, North Carolina. Are y'all still up with me? Are y'all still hanging? Are you feeling sluggish? Are you feeling thankful? Are you wide awake right here in the Midnight Love Garden with Miss Coco Bowden? Y'all, like I said, this is my time of the year. It is October, and October is when we celebrate breast cancer and... And, you know, everybody goes pretty in pink, party in pink. We do it all for the breast cancer survivors and also those who are are our angels, our breast cancer angels who have gone on to heaven. Amen. All right, y'all. So listen, check this out. BBS Divas, which is my charity organization, we're having our sixth annual price for a cure I almost said gospel extravaganza because y'all know every year we always put on this big program gospel extravaganza. But this year we are changing up the whole thing and we are focusing directly on the families of those that are going through cancer and also those who have survived cancer. So November the 11th, we will be doing a private ceremony for these families. Cause you know, sometimes, you know, um, families can't really get out there like that because the person who may be receiving treatment may not be able to, you know, get up under too many people, different kinds of people. So what we're going to do, we, 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 we got this project called Project Hope. Last year for Praise for a Cure, our theme was Miracles Do Exist. This year, our theme is Project Hope. And what I want to do, y'all, and I need your help in order to do it, I want to fill up these tables full of household supplies, non-perishable food items, and, you know, toiletry items. I want to be able to look at these families and say, look, here you go. You don't have to buy this for a whole year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to bless these families with enough of these items where that's one less problem that they have to worry about. Because when they pay for these chemo treatments and stuff, they have to pay like three fifty, four hundred dollars dollars That's just co-pay for one treatment. So I want to try and bless them in that way. And if you want to be a part of the BBS Diva Project Hope, all you got to do is send in a donation. Or if you're in our local area, you can just call me at 336-267-9391. And let's set something up where I can meet you and pick up whatever items you want to donate. Listen, all these items must be new and never opened, okay? Because we are dealing with our special loved ones. So we don't want to give them in and everything. We want the best for our survivors. Because they are fighting battles that some of us will never face. And some of us have already faced. Amen. So call me at 336-267-9391. And if you are far off and you want to donate and be a blessing to these families. All you got to do is go to PayPal. I receive PayPal, and all you got to do is put in there Miss Coco Bowden at gmail dot o b o w d e n at gmail dot com. That's all you got to do is donate to PayPal. We accept one dollar and up. It doesn't matter. We we you know every little bit counts. Every little bit helps. And it's important to donate to small organizations like mine because, and I'm not just saying donate to mine. If you want to donate to another organization, that's fine because God going to take care of all of us that's out here doing his will. Amen. So no jealousy or no hate there. Just make sure that you're helping somebody in this fall season who may be struggling. Um, so why is it, why is it important to donate to families? Because like I said, these families, they have a copay. The insurance does not pay 100% of their needs. And it certainly does not pay for their household supplies and stuff like that. You know, I'm thinking the smaller things that we take for granted. And that's what they are usually struggling to try and get. So if we can be a blessing to them by donating, you know, Clorox, um, hand sanitizers, um, even bags of candy, y'all. Bags of candy to keep their mouth from getting dry. Um, little small throw blankets. Cause sometimes, you know, they get cold. 
trash bags. A lot of patients, they do a lot of um, vomiting. Is that nasty to say? But they do. <laughs> Amen. So um, they do a lot of vomiting and stuff. And they go through a lot of trash bags. They go through a lot of washcloths and bath towels. You know, anything that we can do to make it easier on that family. That's my goal right there. So if you want to be a blessing to BBS Diva, 6th Annual Praise for a Cure Project, Hope, and it will be November the 11th at 5.30 p.m. We'll be taking donations up until November the 10th. It's going to be in Star, North Carolina, and it's not open to the public. Um, For another reason, the building that we have, it cannot hold but so many people. So we just want them to be able to enjoy their family this round. We've done it for, this is our sixth year doing it, and I'm looking forward to many more years through God doing it. You can always go, again, that is to PayPal and Type in the search engine, MissCocoBoutin at gmail.com, and send whatever amount that the Lord lays upon your heart. It is, it is your free will. It's your free will to bless somebody else. Be a blessing. Amen. And also, you can go to GoFundMe, y'all. I heard this story um, from um, Evangelist Renee, who is another radio angel, and it's in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana area. 15 year old Jamelia Walker. She passed away yesterday. So if you want to be a blessing to her family and help with the memorial calls, the funeral calls, all you got to do is go to GoFundMe and type in J A hyphen M E L I A Walker. Jamelia Walker and be a blessing to that family as well because they're seeking $5,000 to bury her. We know that burial is always so expensive. So you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and pray right on over over both of these things because I believe that God is big enough to cover all of it, to supply every need um, no matter what it's for. Amen? So let's... um, pray here. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask for you to touch both of these programs. God, go fund me for Jamelia Walker. I stand in on behalf of her family, God, praying that all of their needs will be met, God. And also, I pray for you to comfort that family as they mourn the loss of such a young, beautiful lady, beautiful spirited from what I have seen in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I just pray that you will make the necessary provisions for her family, oh God. I pray over that mother and father who may be suffering the loss to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. I just pray God. And those of you who are listening, pray with me because it's not easy for parents to have to lose such a young, beautiful